Jeff, it's a pleasure to be here, and uh, thank you. It's it's always fun, and I've been enjoying the pre-interview uh, conversations we've been having uh, with uh, a local legend, uh, John Grasso from Halfway Cafe. Hi, John. I do not know if it's a legend. It, uh, it it's a little bit it's a little bit flattering, but uh, you know the old adage: broken clock is uh, right twice a day. So. Well, John, it might not be in your world that you're a legend. It just says how pathetic Peter and I are that we think you are a legend. <laughs> Well, I, I have no comment about that. <laughs> but John, um, I, I'm shocked if anybody has not heard of the Halfway Cafe. But just in case they haven't, why don't you first give us a sense of what is the business and how big, you know, and really where it, what we is it We have been around since 1990. Uh, we purchased the original location in Dedham, which had been a Halfway Cafe going back to the late 50s, early 60s. And it was interesting because I grew up in that area and we were very familiar with it and the original owner of that business a gentleman by the name of Tom O'Riordan he owned it from 63 to 78 and amazing he was doing 20,000 a week in the 70s and do that uh, in comparison wow. to money then he sold it in 78 in between him selling it in 78 to us purchasing it in 90 there were three owners none of them restaurant people and all of them absentee that's always been a uh, where I've been in this industry a long time. People, I love to cook, whatever they want to get into this industry. So um, it was pretty uh, uh, a legend, a local lo uh, iconic landmark. location, landmark, and Dedham was pretty much tarnished. And it was, it was pretty easy. It was a different time then, but we built that. We opened up Watertown in 95, Marlboro in 98, then we opened up Canton, Holbrook, and uh, Maynard. But um, we are into 100% guest satisfaction. Guest satisfaction and value. We don't reinvent the wheel. Um, it, I always tell uh, the folks who work with us, uh, we're like Disney, we sell an experience. Um, uh, do we have the best burger or steak tips or whatever? That's a subjective term, you sell an experience. And we have steak tips, turkey tips, burgers, and you know, we're inexpensive when we serve alcohol. And, you know, we're like every other restaurant out there today. It's a different world, and we work hard to do um, what we do when you're only as good as the last meal that you serve. Do you find a lot of it is about training of your staff? How much training do you do? Crucial. It's, it's crucial, Peter. Uh, much, so much more so now. Um, it's, it's amazing in that sometimes I feel we're going out to battle with a water pistol where... 15 years ago, 15 years ago, 75% of our employees were full-time, 25% were part-time. Now, completely invert them. And you also have, along with that factor, um, a much more educated, demanding consumer where customer loyalty in the past, it's not what it was in the past. You screw up one meal and they're gone. They won't well, there's more choice today, too. There's much more choice.